Well, that's an unnecessarily large vault door for such a small door. <laughs> Wait, okay. It's just... Okay, sure. When are we going to start hearing, uh... The old man himself? Can't remember his name. Wow, I'm bad. Can't remember his name. I can't I remember his name for Welcome to London Amateur Science Kip Johnson Astronauts, War Heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Amateur Science. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married to science. Tally ho. And that didn't work at all. Well, shit. Let's get this. Oh. It's bad. <laughs> there we go. Wait, I can't just do that, can I? No. Didn't think so. Hundred percent sure this is how you get there. I, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You can't, you're not serious. Here we go. Almost got it from the wrong angle, though. So I'm doing something really wrong, aren't I? I'm not even supposed to be here yet. I'm a hundred percent sure I need to go there. See? There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our emission spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> Don't need to go out of there. I did something like this. I remember this. Like so, and then... And then you fall indefinitely. Uh, uh, yeah. Alpha S book. I think this is where we are going. And then to the left or right or whatever the direction is of this lift. 
but I know we're going to the left. Built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. No, and this game did a really good job in the no hand holding thing. If you pick this up the first time, you have no clue what the fuck you're doing. Except the tutorial in the beginning, but there is no follow me or go here. Do that. All right, let's get started. I say that. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Uh, there's a button somewhere. And I'm missing it. There it is, of course. Alrighty then. Boys, boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned role group. Telling me I ought to, I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. That was we're supposed to go here. Go here. Not there. Maybe up. Up. Okay, that's... No, I wasn't... Where am I? What is this? For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. That's reassuring. Or not. At all, actually. The fuck? Of course, bounce. Ah, oh. this is pretty cool. I like this. Pretty sure you could have done that in a faster manner if you did it some other way, but whatever. Yay. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Okay, that's again very reassuring there. Cave Johnson. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is oh. the lab boys say the symptoms okay. of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. What am I doing? I am doing this, aren't I? No? Oh. Ah. Huh. Guessing this is what I'm supposed to do. I like your style. Yep. You make up your own rules, just like me. 
Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> okay, that's... Slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. This entire place is pretty disturbing. I think this is like uh, just joking about the science. Now, it was in the 60s. Now, if you're group Kepler Kiss. 7, we implanted a or tiny 50s. microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely, you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Uh, what? I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this test may involve all trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here, but I guess it's something like this. It goes a little something like this. I realize now what needs to be done. But we, I got it. Okay. So it's one. Variation. I'm pretty sure none of this is necessary, but hey. needs to be done first. Let's see here. That at a high velocity fly up there and I'll land there. What else might possibly need to be done here? I don't see it. Probably something really simple and I'm just missing it, but... Hey. What? Okay, now it worked, apparently. That's strange. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's 
You and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle can use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Uh -huh. That was fucking close. I was about to say. Then I realized that well it was close because where is it? Come back here. Put it here, and then I'll do that. that. So, done. Yeah, thought so. Well, first of all, I, well, first of all, I need to kind of, kind of get get gear some some way. Why do I feel like this is such a stupid thing not to realize how to do? Because it is Robert. Okay. That was actually very simple. Something ought to hit that at some point. Thank you. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't get you on the butt on the way out? Because you are fired! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box, you're stopped. Out the front door. Parking lot, car, goodbye. <laughs> Imagine having Cave Johnson as your boss. That would probably suck. He seems like a fun person, but would probably suck. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As yeah, no CEO problem, bro. Aperture science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Close enough. Something needs to be done, but I don't know what. I think this. This needs to be done. Yep. Somewhere here is the boat from Half-Life, which is a game that I never played because, well, I have played it, but fun at all. Here. Boring all this or something. Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make sixty dollars? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to twenty minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? 